Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam. Uh, in today's session, uh, we will be having an overview of the transaction cycle in which uh, we will take a case of investing and financing activities and of the cash flow statement and further uh, we will uh, know about how these activities gets recorded and then further reported into our NetSuite application. So before that, uh, we should know about what is a cash flow statement. So as we all uh, know that cash flow statement is a, you know, one of the important financial statement which records all the cash inflows and outflows that are there into the business. And this cash flow statement is made up of three main elements or three main activities are, you know, uh, uh, contained in this uh, cash flow statement. First uh, is the operating activities, uh, second is investing activities, and the third is financing activities. So operating activities records all the sources of cash and all the uses of cash that are required in the you know day-to-day -day operations of the business, like uh, all the you know uh, cash that is coming into the business for by in the form of any revenues or any expenses that have been incurred into the regular day-to-day uh, -day operations of the business are all coming into the operating activities. Uh, next activities we have are the investing activities. So it includes all the resources, all the sources and uses of cash uh, that are, uh, you know, uh, uh, available in, in the business uh, by the way of any investing investment, like uh, if any asset uh, long term or anything, sorry, any fixed asset is to be purchased or sold off into the business so the money that has uh, coming in or going out of the business from these activities are the investing activities last we have the financing activities so it includes all the sources of cash uh, from investors and banks uh, as well as the way the cash is you know paid to shareholders in the form of dividends and uh, the other examples of financing activities can be seen into like issuing bonds and loan from any financial institution or loan from bank or repayment of existing loans and all. So these are all the three activities of which the uh, cash flow statement is made up of. And out of these three, we today we, we have taken a scenario for you know the investing and the financing activities in which uh, this is the case that we I have taken today. Uh, so ABC Limited uh, made the following transactions. We have to pass a journal entry in the books of the company for the month of May. We have taken uh, two uh, cases or I would say the two transactions uh, in this uh, uh, session. So first is plant uh, sold off worth rupees uh, $50,000 and payment was made by check. This is the first entry. Uh, then uh, plant is a fixed asset that is purchased into the business and it is a form of investment also. So uh, when this asset is sold off, so it forms the activity, it, you know, it comes under the investing activity. So cash is coming into the business by selling off the you know, plant and the payment is made by check. This is the first uh, case that we have taken. The second is dividend paid to shareholders for $35,000. So dividends are the, you know, amount that is uh, paid to the shareholders for their, you know, share or for their rev uh, reward into the business. And uh, this, you know, uh, it is uh, paid monthly or yearly or quarterly to the shareholders for their uh, reward into the business. So these are the two cases that we have taken today. So moving on to the NetSuite application. Uh, where uh, in the, we have seen that in our previous uh, sessions that for uh, accounting, you know, for recording any transaction, the first thing that we have to do is to pass a journal entry. So we, uh, as we have know, known about the two uh, cases that we have taken, now we will be passing a journal entry and for that we will be going into the transactions, financials, make journal entry. So the journal entry page has opened up. First, we will change the form from custom to standard. And uh, you can see that the 
exchange rate is already been taken up i have to select a subsidiary for which i am taking here bisp uk hq and you can see that the currency gbp is already been taken up uh, i am marking this entry as approved and uh, this is the posting period i am not providing any reversal date for it an important thing we have to you know pass a journal entry for which we have to select an account so in the first case a uh, plant is sold off so, right so plant is an asset and uh, uh, we can say, uh, we know uh, we know that uh, when the asset is sold off it is reduced from our stock so uh, we have to you know and cash is coming into the business but here uh, since the payment is made by bank so we have to debit bank since bank is the you know uh, we are receiving amount into our bank so for that i will be taking here this uk uk bank and the amount was $50000 I will click on add and uh, you know since the asset is going out of our business it uh, the asset is getting reduced as we have you know sold off the asset so we have to you know uh, credit uh, the plant account by 50,000 we will provide a memo over here so this is the this is our first entry that is the investing uh, you know that comes under the investing activity the next thing that is you know uh, dividend paid to the shareholders so for that scenario a dividend account is debited and uh, cash account is credited so dividend account we have to select first since you know uh, it is an expense for the business and uh, the debit the journal rule says that debit all expenses and losses we will credit it by $35,000 and since uh, dividend is paid to the shareholders and cash is going out of so we will credit cash since cash is going out of the business we will provide a memo So we have uh, passed the, these two entries and after passing it, I will click on save. So here we can see that now that our entry is approved for posting. Here you can see that bank has been for the first scenario, the bank has been debited and plant account has been credited and the dividend account is debited and cash account is credited so we are done with the recording uh, part now as a uh, 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 after journal the next step is the general ledger so for having a view like uh, for seeing that where these amounts are you know uh, find their find its way into our uh, general ledger so for that we will be going into the reports financials and here we have general ledger So this is the general ledger, but this is for the month of April. We will be changing uh, first. We will change its period. Click on refresh. Subsidiary is already BISP UKHQ. So here you can see that uh, bank uh, since you know cash is coming into the business uh, by selling off the plant uh, for fifty thousand GBPs. You can see that this amount is here under the UK UK bank. If I click on it, it will take us to the general page, journal page, sorry. And this is the cash transaction as dividend has been paid to the shareholders for 35,000 GBPs. And the uh, journal entry number is here, date is here. Uh, if we click on it, it will take us to the journal page. If we go down here, so here you can see that since you know the plant has been sold off into the business, so its entry is also here 
for the you know uh, and the values are shown with the minus since ash uh, asset is uh, decreasing is getting diminished into our, from our you know records further if we go down here one more thing is left that is dividend yes it is here and we have paid dividend to shareholders for 35000 gbps that is under the general ledger so we have seen that how the how these amounts uh, have their way into the general ledger now since you know it is a it is an investing and the financing activity so we will be going into the cash flow statement to see these amounts we will be going into the reports financials and here we have the cash flow statement first we will change the period uh, sorry first we will change the subsidiary to bisp uk hq we have to pass it for the month of may yes so this is our cash flow statement you can see that the investing activities this is the uh, pick asset or you know it is uh, it is a plant that has been sold into uh, into the business for 50000 is here it is a it is an investing activity and here it has found its way and if we go down here so here we have the financing activity that is shown under the equity as it was a you know dividend was a sub type or sub account of uh, equities so you can see that uh, since dividend is paid or cash is going out of the business so it is shown with the this negative marking and uh, it is for 35000 gbps so here it is appearing into our cash flow statement operating activities we have not uh, provided any you know we have not uh, recorded any operating activities so nothing is there so uh, these are the two uh, activities these are the two activities investing in the financing activities and we can see its numbers appearing into the cash flow statement and this is the cash at the beginning of the period and this is the cash at the end of the period and uh, this is about the cash flow statement uh, the the last thing uh, towards the end of this uh, transaction cycle Uh, we will be knowing about the impact of these transaction into our balance sheet which is also one of the important financial statement of any business so for that we will be going into the reports financials and balance sheet this is the balance sheet for the month of april we want it for the month of may and i will click on refresh so this is the balance sheet for the month of may uh you we, we have taken uk uk bank and if i click on it in order to see the detailed uh, report of this detailed view of this transaction so you can see that here for uh, 14th of may this is the 50000 dollars transaction like cash is coming into the business by selling of the plant and you can see that uh, this amount since cash is coming uh, by uh, the you know uh, in the bank account of the business so it is shown with the positive marking we'll be going back to summary and if we click on cash we had also taken a cash transaction in our session, uh, session. so here you can see that for the 14th of may cash is being shown with the minus since dividend is pay, paid to the shareholders and cash is going out of the business so it is shown with the uh, negative marking since cash is going out of the business and it is decreasing into our balance sheet if we go further down so under the fixed asset you can see that plant 
this is also you know a transaction that we have taken today since plant is sold off asset gets decreased the balance of asset gets decreased that is why it is shown with the negative marking this is our third uh, uh, transaction if we go down further so here we have the last transaction that is the dividend which is falling under the capitals and reserves and if we click on it so it will provide us the detail of the journal that we have created here is is the entry for the dividend this is the total dividend amount uh, for you know the journal entry passed for the month of may for 35000 gbp so this is about the dividend so we have taken all the four uh, transactions and uh, we also you know we have also uh, uh, know we have also got to know that how these uh, investing and financing activities are recorded first into the general and then these uh, numbers gets reflected into our general ledger then cash flow statement we have seen these under the investing and the financing activities and at, la and at last we have seen the impact of these transaction into our balance sheet so that's all for today in case of any questions and consultations you can write to us at www.biespsolutions.com thank you